welcome to Hardcover Feedback. I'm Tracy Hill. And I'm Brandy Smits. And today we are reading Sleepless by Charlie Houston. Parker Hess wanted a better, safer world for his wife and infant daughter. He joined the LAPD and tried to make it that way. But the world had changed, struck by waves of chaos carried in on a tide of insomnia, a plague of sleeplessness. Working undercover as a drug dealer in, the, in a future LA ruled by martial law and insurgency, Park is tasked with cutting off the illegal sales of Dreamer, the only drug that can give the infected what they crave, sleep. Park and his family lived in a subprime short sale in Culver City. As far as Park was concerned, there was initially little else to say about it. He felt the taint of others' misfortune whenever he pulled into the driveway next to the unwatered brown lawn that matched all the lawns on the street. He'd resisted buying, but Rose had been pregnant and had wanted a house and had fallen in love with the place on first sight. Once he saw Rose with a swollen belly, smiling as she stood at a kitchen window and looked out at a yard still canopied in trees, there was nothing left to do but engage in some dispirited haggling with the seller both of them seeming in a hurry to give in to the other's demands. Now there was no separating the place from himself, the house where his daughter was born in their bed on a covering of secondhand hospital sheets, the house where his wife's illness first manifested, where she slowly began to erode, losing layers of herself, being stripped slowly in front of him to thin strata of fear, anger, and want. It should have been better. It should have been so it, much better. It really. I mean, when I was just reading that description of this book, I'm like, wow, I want to read that book. I know. I had I the didn't same response. No. Uh -uh. I read this book, and yeah. that's not the same. So, yeah, it's it's not the clearest or easiest read. Um, I, will make, I will make my admission. <laughs> um, I probably read three quarters of this book before I realized that there were two different perspectives happening oh, in this honey. book. Um, <laughs> yeah. There is Park, the main character, yeah. who is Who's so boring. He's like the Sorry. dullest, the futuristic LA police undercover I man I've ever know, heard in my like, entire life. No like futuristic LA epidemic I, I going some on. Like, man or come something. On. Nothing. It's just nothing. No, there is nothing. Then, yeah. secondly, so he's written in third person. So yeah. Park does Partly, the yeah. drug deals, and Park goes to work, and Park yeah. has a wife, and then. There's this like first person person, which I was like, oh, maybe that's like Park's unconscious internal thought, a la like Fight Club. I don't know. You know I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was way more clever than it was. Yeah. And then it's like, oh no, that's a hitman. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, really? There's there's yeah. a hitman. There is a hitman. And I'm sorry, I liked him so much. He was so interesting. He was he had this amazing past and he wasn't even trying to be like I'm a cool guy he was just kind of recalling things about himself as they related to the actions that he had to take in the present day of the book and he was great he was fascinating to me I wanted his story and it's really bad when you know the protagonist I didn't like any of the protagonists and well there was the, there was a really a great a amount of like secondary characters yeah all that the bad you're just guys like all the bad guys great. are great so apparently like, in order to be interesting you have to be evil apparently that's the rule or a hit here yeah you have to like for kill sure. people frequently yeah and then you can be interesting in and, charlie houston's world and i think it's the the epidemic itself is pretty terrifying and it's based on an actual very rare and um, genetic kind of illness so it is pretty scary but yeah. like the way that it rolls out it's like this is not scary this is just like well, some other drug addiction problem kind of thing that'll eventually kill people and all the people that have this crazy insomnia thing mm -hmm. all play online like MMORPG games. Yeah. And I'm just like, like well, that's well, interesting. Uh, like, let's talk about that some more. Yeah, they could have explored that some more and just, I don't know, maybe use that to find a cure somehow. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas gonna... out there because this just kind of turned into cop with a mission sort mm -hmm. of thing. And if the hitman hadn't been in it, and if all the, I hate to say, the, the drug dealers were the most interesting part of the story overall, 
If they weren't in there, I would not even have finished this book. I really only finished this book like with more vigor once I realized that the hitman was a person. Okay. Like, yeah. When I was mm -hmm. reading this book and I thought that Park and the hitman were like one mm -hmm. or something, mm -hmm. I was like, this is r ridiculous. I can't do this. And yeah. then when I was like, oh, wait, the hitman's somebody else? This is kind of interesting. Yeah. But then I was just like it was completely uninvested. Better. It was, it was just done. better somehow, yeah, but it wasn't great. And so, it, yeah. I, I, I like the hitman, so that's, oh. well, that's why I give it any credit at all. Because you like the hitman, I think that's why our ratings here differ. Yes, because I'm, I'm positive that's why. <laughs> one and a half stars is being incredibly I generous. I know you by are. Me. I know and you are. But I'm not that far off. So like two, two yeah. stars for me. It's just. It could have been. So it could have been. I know the premise this was, was like, actually pretty solid. Like scary disease. Guy's trying to save his wife, who definitely has, and his daughter, and like maybe the baby's got it too. Like that's good stuff right there. And it didn't Just happen. No execution. Nope. We reviewed Sleepless by Charlie Houston. Brandy gave it one and a half stars. I gave it two stars. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>